Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video. In today's quick tip, we will have a look at the PrestaShop 1.6 Theme Configurator module. And I recently came across quite a number of topics on the official forum board asking how to switch the default grid view to a list view. And I was used to do it manually, so I suggested to modify the JavaScript file responsible for it. However, that is not only troublesome, but also impossible for non-tech savvy people. Fortunately, Presta Shop has a setting for it, although it's not even mentioned in the official docs, which allows us to set the default view to a list, and it's in the aforementioned theme configurator model stuck together with another number of uh, useful features. So I believe we saw a few of them already in an early 1.6 video, but I would like to highlight the most useful and new ones now. So here in the back office, I will reach the theme configurator first. So modules. Let's look for theme configurator and hit configure. Now, starting from the top, we have a list of pre self explanatory ones. So we can choose if you want to. Uh, let me actually bring up front office as well and get rid of the live configurator here okay so uh, display links to store social accounts and that's pretty self-explanatory this one and of course some of these can be configured uh, individually and a note about this uh, social block is that if you have multiple languages you cannot unfortunately set um, uh, for example, a Facebook, Facebook or Twitter page for each. So if you have a French and an English Facebook page, you cannot set both. So you have to choose with this uh, default module. So now going back, display your contact information. It's this one. Then again, social sharing buttons in the product page. So let me just click on a product. This one's. Then again, Facebook block in the home page and scrolling down, it's this one. CMS information block, it's this one and you can edit the whole of it with a full-fledged HTML editor. Then quick view window on home page and category. Uh, this is one of the top features because it lets you disable this quick view button. Let's actually try it out. So uh, where was it? quick view here no save refresh and it should be gone all right so uh, that's my bad uh, the home page I forgot to mention the home page uh, modules especially let me see if this one as well uh, especially um, the featured block but also uh, best sellers are special in this case no not specials but best sellers and uh, and features are uh, cast so in case you disable that and it doesn't uh, disable it for real just go back advanced parameters performance clear cache and now hopefully when we reload the front of us it should be gone so let's reload yep as you can see it's gone so if you're having any kind of issue on that sense just know that you can go ahead and clear cache now let's go back to our um, theme configurator module here is the option I was talking about at the beginning of the video so display categories as a list of products instead of the default grid based display and you can see it's set to yes so if I use my incognito window here and I will go to casual threads for example you can see it's a list instead of a grid so it's pretty pretty cool to have it there pretty useful Display top banner, and this is another module. Let me go back to the front office. It's this one, and of course we saw this, I think, in the in the 1.6 preview. Of course, it can be configured, and you can place any kind of ad over there. And uh, I believe it was supposed to be multi-language, but it appears it's not anymore. So sadly. So again, one image only for all languages. Display logos for uh, all available payment methods. This is once more in the product page. So let me go back here. 
this one. And lastly, uh, let's ignore this display live configurators. Uh, we, we saw this in the uh, PrestaShop 101 day two, or one was it, I believe, day two. So you can hop there if you want to know more about the live configurator module. Uh, display subcategories, yes or no? And this is yet again another useful feature because, feature, sorry, because uh, if you go there, you can see subcategories are displayed, but I set it to no. Hopefully, it's not cast as well. And refresh, you can see subcategories are gone. So, pretty useful to get an immediate list of products instead of having the, in case you have many subcategories, a cluttering uh, list of them. Then the bottom part of the theme configurator model is for ads or let's say images because uh, they're not necessarily going to be ads and there are these ones and these ones here. There are multiple things you can do with this because if I, for example, want to add a new one, uh, you will notice there is a, a language labeled label here and there will be one for each language currently installed on your shop so that you can target specific languages for each uh, with each ad. So if I add a new item, you can see uh, I can use, yeah, an image title, whatever. But uh, what's super cool here, it's the HTML part because it will let you add any kind of custom HTML. So if I add, uh, for example, div style back Brown, red, for example, and a blah, 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 something like that. And I close it. I, I won't add any kind of link here, and I hook it to the footer, for example. Let's see, it should work. It worked when I tested it. So, yep, you can see here, it has uh, this uh, arrow here pointing uh, right, because uh, it's supposed to be a link with an image, but it's not. But uh, if we uh, eventually hide it with some HTML or CSS modification, this becomes a great tool for uh, creating whole new areas uh, with custom HTML directly from the back office, and this is just super cool. So you just uh, think about the possibilities, adding tracking codes uh, or, you know, all sort of custom HTML wherever, well, not wherever, but almost wherever you want because uh, you saw it here. Go back to my whatever block. You can see here we have plenty of positions. Uh, left and right are uh, in the category page. Top is in each page as well as footer and home is, of course, the home page. So just, th just think about the possibilities of this uh, module which is pretty cool, in my opinion. All right, we're almost 10 minutes already, so I think it's time to finish up the video now. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.